So, today I figured I'd take the carburetor off. Kind of looking pretty low impact. Murray had the wisdom to angle the intake adapter and an angle, and I've degreased everything. So, should be able to. Easy. Easy. My neighbors are blasting the radio. Um, first things first, you take the air cleaner off. You will see. <clears throat> Retaining screw. Don't remember the size. But I've already removed that. And then, we're going to take those two off. So I broke those two uh, loose with the 7016s. On a six inch extension and then I'm just gonna loosen them up by hand after you get those nuts slid off looks like this guy wiggles right off oh, of course there's an EGR tube in the way it's gonna pop off I'm gonna pop that off. I gotta get my hands free. So once you get the EGR tube off, and I just used a flathead screwdriver to wiggle that off. It slides right off those two studs. Off it comes, and holy moly, lots of oil. Probably coming from that EGR tube, I would guess. So. I think I may even just clean that off some more too. Looks like to make things more complex, these studs come out with a 5 sixteenths wrench, which I barely have anything that small. But crack those loose and it looks like these just come right out. Once those studs are unscrewed, we're going to take a pair of vice grip pliers and once those are unscrewed I'm going to do the idle and throttle link and we have a very oily <laughs> oily carburetor that is now free it's going to be replaced with a brand new one um, and I think I'm going to block off that air intake and I'm going to hit it with some more degreaser because holy moly oil.